The Ducks are just two hours away from facing off against the Creighton Blue Jays in the round of 32 in our NCAA tournament coverage this afternoon sponsored by Kendall Subaru. KZI 9 sports reporter Nick Ursini joins us live from inside PPG Paints Arena in Pittsburgh with a final preview before tip off. Nick, another exciting game in store for the Ducks. <laughs> Yeah, Albert, the last time the Oregon Ducks made it to the Sweet 16 was 2021. If they're going to make it back there in 2024, they're going to have to beat three seed Creighton, who happens to be a team that Dana Altman coached for for 16 years. All I care about is my players now. You know, um, it's, it's tough to play Creighton. I wish the committee wouldn't have done that. You know, there are other threes we could have played. Um, but they did, and, and so we'll have to play a game. You know, when you take over a program, I've always felt it's important to embrace your history and, and make sure um, that our players understand of the, the work that the people that came before us did. And, and certainly Dana's era uh, of him as a coach and the guys that played for him, you know, laid the groundwork for you know, for me to happen and Doug to happen and the Big East to happen, none of that, none of that is that's a that's a pipe dream uh, without Dana Altman. It's the 24 and 11 Ducks versus the 24 and 9 Blue Jays. Creighton is a very good shooting team, averaging just under 49 percent from the field and 36 percent from behind the three point line. The Blue Jays beat the Akron Zips 77 to 60 on Thursday in the first round of the tournament. For the Ducks, Jermaine Cousinard is coming off a career high 40 points against his former team, South Carolina. We have to make sure that the best we can get him to take the shots that we want him to take, not the shots that he wants to take. And that's that sounds easy in theory. It's very difficult because of his size and strength and the pace that he plays with. My focus is on Dante and Jermaine and, and the fellows I got now. And I'm sure, you know, Creighton feels the same way. So, you know, it's uh, uh, interesting that we ended up in the same bracket. Uh, but, uh, you know, the, the good news is one of us is going to go on. And I guess the bad news is one of us is going to have to go home. So we'll find out who will advance to the Sweet 16. We still have to wait a little bit. Approximate tip time is 940 local. Of course, that may change depending on what happens with the Oakland and NC State game. That game has about five minutes left to go in the first half. Of course, we'll have all your post-game coverage for you tonight at 11. But for now, reporting live in Pittsburgh with coverage sponsored by Kendall Subaru, I'm Nick Ursini, KEZI, 9 Sports.